hii rafiki yangu the clergy pastors eh, waziri wetu cabinet secretary for interior professor Kithure Kidiki your excellency the governor wa Nyeri nimesikia sasa umeuzwa unaitwa senator wa Nyeri lakini bado you are the sitting governor senator wetu eh, wahome wa Matinga our regional commissioner county commissioner wa Heshimiwa wenzangu my dear wife Betty Akrina Very good. Bishop, we've come here to do what God commands us. Our friend, Professor Kithure, to come and do what God tells us. The Bible says, that in, the, the Bible says in the book of Haggai 1, verse 4, that look, how can you continue living in paneled houses while my house looks like a ruin? I'll give you a secret. Go up in the mountain build me a house and I will bless you and your generations and the Bible continues to say that the reason why I have not blessed you you so munapanda lakini hamvuni munakula lakini hamshibi munakunwa but you are not satisfied the sacred is to go up in the mountain bring tiba build god a house and so that god can bless you together with your generations and that's what the bible says that's why we have come to build the house of the lord na ili wakati atakuwa nasifiwa hapa sisi tunapokea baraka na ili tujengee bwana kanisa na ili aendelee kutubariki ya pili professor umesikia mimi naishi na pastor kwa nyumba Betty and I want to conclude the word that he has given to us Bishop if you allow us she has taken us from the Red Sea when the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea and Moses took them to Mara where they found bitter water they complained to Moses of course why did you bring us from uh, Egypt we have no water here they complained eventually got them got Betty reached us to Mara. After Mara, Moses took them to Elim, where they found 12 springs of fresh water. And then God had to take them through challenges, through hardships, so that he could strengthen them, so that they could become resilient of challenges before they could reach the promised land. Professor, God has taken you from far. And you want, if you want to know, ile maombi mungu alisikia, when tulikuwa tuna decide ni nani atakuwa deputy president nani atakuwa he the only prayers that god answered ni maombi yangu professor so ukitaka kuomba ku, mtu wa kuombee na mungu asikie unitafute <laughs> me i want to confess nilipiga magoti nikaomba mungu usikue deputy president hawa <laughs> wengine wote waliomba ukue deputy president I was the only one who prayed that you don't become the deputy president. Na mungu wakasikia. Sababu ungekua deputy president, mimi ningezama. Singe kuwa hapa. <laughs> mimi kama ungekua deputy president, mimi singe kuwa hapa. Ningezama. So mungu wakasikia maumbi yangu. Na ungekua cabinet secretary for interior. So ukitaka kutafuta mungu, mutu. Ile mungu wanasikia maumbi yake. Unanitafuta. Tunaomba, mungu wanasikia. So God has brought you from far. And he has made you resilient. He has made you courageous. Ana kumbuka wakati bishop alikuwa na hubiri. I looked at you. Sababu kuna mtu alikuja akasema. Eh, tunaleta mandamano. Tunaleta, tunataka nusu mkate. And professor Kidiki came. With his voice akasema, stop. 